Hey everybody, my name is Eric, and I'm here to read you a story. Tonight's story is Barba Papa, a weekly reader children's book. Copyright 1970 by Annette Tyson and Talis Taylor. Barba Papa was born in a garden. That day Frank was watering the flowers. He was surprised to see Barba Papa, but they became friends at once. Frank's mother said that Barba Papa was too big to stay with them. Barba Papa had to go to the zoo. He was unhappy because he had to live in a cage. Barba Papa found he could change his shape, and so he escaped. He wanted to play with the other animals. He tried to make friends, but they didn't understand. The director of the zoo was very angry because Barba Papa had left his cage and he ordered Barba Papa to leave the zoo forever. Barba Papa wandered into the city, but the cars frightened him. There was nowhere he could go. He had no money and no friends. Barba Papa was all alone and he cried. But look, a fire! Barba Papa came to the rescue. The firemen were grateful for his help. While they were having a party after the fire, Barba Papa heard cries for help. A fierce leopard had escaped from the zoo. Barba Papa caught him quite easily. The leopard was returned to the zoo in time for dinner. Barba Papa became famous. The city gave him a hero's welcome. Barba Papa came back to live with Frank. Frank's parents were delighted. Frank's father built a house for Barba Papa. Barba Papa played with the children. Sometimes, Barba Papa met his friends in the park, and everyone was happy to see him. Goodbye. Again, that was Barba Papa. 
written by Annette Tyson and Talis Taylor, copyright 1970. Printed in the USA, exclusively arranged and produced by Freight Femmers Productions, Middletown, Connecticut, Xerox Education Publications. Good night.